Hi, welcome to Tessera's Nerf Room. I do not know what this thing is, but I'm gonna review it. Let's get into it. Legitimately, I don't know what this blaster is called, but it is a Rebel crossbow. I think it's called the Guardian crossbow. I have no idea what year it was released in. It says 2014 on it, so I'm gonna guess 2015, and it is a tiny monstrosity, but let's get into it starting with the design. It looks cool. I will give it this much. The blaster looks really, really nice. I love this sort of angle that's right here for literally no reason. It just adds a lot more personality to the blaster. The skeletonized grip looks really cool, but is very uncomfortable, and I will get to that in a moment. The whole front of it being like this sort of webbed design just looks really cool. I like these shields that are on either side. Honestly, Rebel Blasters, if they have anything going for them, it's that they look really, really good, and this one is no exception. From both sides, despite the lack of paint detail, even though there wasn't much paint detail to begin with. What about the ergonomics? This blaster just has a main grip and it absolutely sucks. It's almost really comfortable. I mean, it's got a finger troil, it's got everything going for it, it's smooth and fluted, but the problem is this skeletonized part right here. It digs so violently into the webbing of your hand that it feels like you're holding on to like sharp tools. Like it feels like you're holding on to just like a clump of hard tools when you're holding on to this blaster. And it is the worst feeling imaginable. I don't know how they screwed the grip up this much, but it legitimately sucks. I mean, I guess you could call this a foregrip and in that case, it's way more comfortable than the main grip, but you're probably just gonna hold it like this because there's no stock attachment point or anything. You hold it like a crossbow pistol. I don't know. How does this blaster work? Well, you take these and you pull them back by hand and it's really hard to do that then you can single-handedly front load one of these arrows in and hope that it clicks properly once it's in like this you pull the trigger to fire i said you pull the trigger to fire there we go uh, the trigger pull feels awful. It is really heavy for no reason and causes your hand to just press further into this sharp part right here. And the function of pulling this back is incredibly stupid, especially with stuff like the Dreadbolt, which had a form of priming handle that you crank down. This could have had a top slide or something to pull the string back, but they were lazy and didn't incorporate that. So instead, you have to pull it back with your fingers, which is not only really dumb, but also incredibly hard because the string load gets really really heavy right about here, and it just becomes a pain to do such. Also, the cross bolt exists, which does have a top prime. Bingo, bango, bongo, bro. Bingo, bango, bango, bongo. Come on, fit, there we go. Mm. I don't have quiver. Uh, give me one. Give it there. Must make one in zombie target. Oh, gosh, get it in zombie target. Let me actually try to aim. Wow. They fishtail so violently that aiming does nothing. <laughs> There. I, I will make one in. There's nowhere to put these. I gotta clean this room. Ah! 
Ugh. Finally! What mod potential does this blaster have? None. There's nothing you can really do with this. Because I opened it and I tried to think of things that you could do, but I couldn't think of anything. The only thing I can think of is using parts of the shell as filler for integrations, but you can't really use the grip, you can't use the mechanism at all, and there's just no reason to anyways. So mod potential for this doesn't really exist as far as I can think of. Do I recommend this blaster? Not really. If you find one at a thrift store, maybe if you just like the look of it and you're trying to collect Rebel Blasters, but there's no practical use for this thing, there's nothing you can really do with it, and it's just oversized and it doesn't really work. Just buy a Jolt instead. Plus, you have to use the worst ammo type that Hasbro has ever created in the history of the company's existence. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend getting this blaster. If you do happen to find one in the wild though, I've got nothing. I would put a purchase link, but these things are discontinued. Thanks for watching. Bye.